I will meditate on your precepts and focus on your behaviour. Psalm 119 verse 15 There are times when solitude is better than company, and when silence is wiser than speech. We would all be better Christians if we spent more time alone, waiting upon God, gathering through meditation on his word, our spiritual strength for labour in his service. We need to muse upon the things of God, because we thus get the real nutrient out of them. Truth is something like the cluster of the vine. If we would have wine from it, we must bruise it, we must press it, and we must squeeze it many times. The bruiser's feet must come down joyfully upon the bunches, or else the juice will not flow, and they will be well tread the grapes, or else the much of the precious liquid will be wasted. So we must, by meditation, tread the clusters of truth. If we would get the wine of consolation from that. Our bodies are not supported by merely taking food into the mouth, but the process which really supplies the muscle and the nerve of the sinew, the bone, is the process of digestion. It is by digestion that the outward food becomes assimilated with the inner life. Our souls are not nourished merely by listening a while to this, and then to that, and then to another part of divine truth. Hearing, reading, marking, learning, all require inward digestion to complete their usefulness. And the inward digesting of the truth lies for the most part in our meditation upon it. Why is it that some Christians, although they hear many great sermons, make but slow advance in the divine life? Because they neglect their closets and do not thoughtfully meditate on God's word. They love the wheat, but they did not grind it. They would have the corn, but they will not go out into the fields to gather it. The fruit hangs upon the tree, but they will not pluck it. The water flows at their feet, but they will not stoop to drink it. From such follies as these deliver us, O Lord, and be this our resolve this morning. I will meditate in thy precepts. Amen.